Now to a 13 Action News update to a story we first told you about in June. A mass eviction at a mobile home park near Washington and Nellis. And tonight, 13 Action News anchor Masa Saidi catches us up with one of the former residents, a veteran. And Masa, he says he hasn't been able to get back on his feet. Parkinson's, so he can't work anymore. He says with a fixed income, he couldn't find permanent housing after the eviction. And tonight, he's on the road. We first met veteran Robert Goodell in his modest mobile home. The 50-year-old battling Parkinson's was in tears about the upcoming eviction. Everybody thinks it's, it's real easy. Just go find another place to live. It's not that easy. Six months later, his prediction turned out to be true. Essentially, you're being priced out of Las Vegas. Yeah, there's nothing else we can do here. Speaking with us outside of his weekly rental. Give me a minute. She doesn't idle real well. Goodell showed us his ticket out of Las Vegas, a 16-year-old van with a failing radiator. We're going back to Michigan. We don't have a choice. The problem is getting enough money up front to move into a place. Yeah. They want first month's rent security deposit. That's money that Goodell, who's on a fixed income, doesn't have. He says the monthly rent for the mobile home was 700 everything included. The new place? Uh, it's 271.90 a week. Approximately $1,088 a month. Unable to find permanent housing, Goodell hit the road before Christmas. But tonight, he sent us this picture saying he's stranded in a motel in Kingman, Arizona after his van broke down. He wants a new start in the new year, but he's losing hope. Masa Saidi, 13 Action News.